In times of crisis, communication is essential. The COVID-19 outbreak is a global pandemic during which community preventive and protective behaviors play a crucial role in the containment and control infection. COVID-19 has dramatically reshaped our speech communication. Interpersonal communication has been severely affected during the COVID-19 pandemic. The coronavirus pandemic has changed the way we communicate and we are advised to wear facial coverings and keep our distance from each other. We had to find substitutes for the greetings like gestures and other cues that we used to take for granted. The COVID-19 pandemic continues to present many unintended consequences for society. Preventive practices such as wearing face masks, practicing social distancing and virtual meetings and classrooms to address contagious concerns may negatively affect communication. Face-to-face -face communication especially was majorly affected by the pandemic. The need for face masks as an important protective measure to decrease the spread of coronavirus had a huge toll to interpersonal communication. Facial expressions and gestures play a role facilitating interpersonal communication, comprehension, and delivery of intended messages. As such as wearing of face masks hinder the ability of seeing and understanding people, expression during conversation, and decrease the, in the impact of communicated materials. We have less interaction over with people outside, outside of the people we live with and we spend time on Zoom, Messenger, and other mediated platforms. We are new that social media plays an important role in communicating during crisis and that has also been the case during the pandemic. The effective way of using social media is communication is that we need to be consistent in delivering our message and we need to repeat it if it is necessary. Second is that using mediated platforms in communication, we need to be specific and straight to the point when communicating. Be warm and positive whether you're communicating via email, text, or in person. Be welcoming and positive and offer encouragement. In times of pandemic, we need to promote information sharing it it is crucial to create clear and accessible feedback mechanism for families, people to express their opinions, concerns, and expectations. Once these mechanisms are set, ensure they function properly to maintain trust and engagement both in highly visible locations. It is important to communicate COVID-19 messages in all possible way and forms. Signage can be placed on notice boards in restrooms, entrance, classrooms, and other central locations. And in terms of education, we need to ensure that communication is developed appropriate and accessible for all students during those with disabilities. And if schools do not open or it will close again, other online communication channels should be used to reach out to students. We have to meet people where they are. In terms of communication, and most people are on some form of social media, another challenging is conversation via teleconferencing where there can be background noise and transmission delays. Communication is hard enough when things are relatively quiet in our lives. But in the midst of crisis or stress, emotion can make communication challenging and require a great deal of effort to ensure that misunderstandings are minimized. As we all know, COVID-19 pandemic is wrecking havoc around the globe. The solution is to reunite people, but the issue is to do it, it in a safe manner. We need to think new ways to engage individuals in conversation while keeping them secure and socially separated. We should develop technology to bring it closer to the next experience of in-person communication by bringing people into the same location where they can connect with one another. Thank you.